Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum dear students. I am here now with my new lesson. Exercise E of page number 9. So open your book on page number 9. Exercise E. Translate the following passage from English into Urdu. Tolerance means the ability or willingness to endure the existence of opinions or behavior that one dislikes or disagrees with. People who have less of this ability easily fall prey to aggression, haste, actions, anger, and all other negative attitudes. Tolerance is one of the paths of winning Allah's will and happiness. In the Holy Quran, Allah has guaranteed those who are patient that He will give them reward without measure. This passage is now for translation and that is your homework. You will do translation. I have taught you how to make translation. I have underlined a few words there and for this you will open the dictionary. You will see the meanings of these words in Urdu. Then you will put them on a rough notebook. And then keeping these words in front of you, you make the translation of each and every sentence in your rough notebook. Ability, willingness, endure, existence, dislikes, disagrees, pray aggression, haste, reactions, anger, negative attitude, will, guaranteed and measure. Okay. Then exercise grammar topic is there. And the subtopic is noun. And the question is change the following sentences from singular to plural or from plural to singular. Noun. This is not a new word class uh, 8 and 9 for you. It's a very common word and which is being taught uh, to you people since class uh, 3 or 2. Even it is taught in 2 class. So noun. Noun is uh, not a new word for you people. Everyone knows the definition. Everyone knows the use of this word. Still I give you again a recapitulation of uh, that definition. Noun. It is a part of speech. It is a part of speech. It is a naming word. Name of a person, place, thing, bird, animal, idea, situation, state, etc. Around you everything has got name. Whether you know or not. But it has name. And every naming word is called noun. Okay. This was a definition. Now see the exercise. There are five sentences. And the question is to change singular nouns into plural and plural noun into singular. And they are in the sentences, so definitely we will make change in use of helping verb as well. Abhuk is a good friend. First of all, find out noun. In this sentence, al, it's a determiner article. It determines the number of book, that is a book. Book is noun here, is helping verb, a again determiner, good adjective and friend again noun. We will change this noun, this noun and according to these two nouns, we will make change in helping verb as well. So that will be a book is a good friend and the change of this sentence will be books are good friends. We will omit this a uh and this a. Uh. We will not put again when we are making them plural. Second sentence, a small car is a great vehicle. Now find out what are nouns there. Car and vehicle. Small, this is modifying car, that is adjective. Great, this is modifying vehicle, so this is adjective. Is, this is helping verb. Definitely we will make a change. Car, uh, we will make a change in this noun. Car is and then vehicle. So the sentence will be small cars are great vehicles okay see your third sentence are the students in the classroom it's interrogative sentence because we identify through question mark are helping verb when it comes in the beginning that changes the sentence from assertive to into Interrogative. So that is interrogative sentence because helping verb is in the beginning and question mark is at the end. Are the students in the class? Now this R will be changed into singular and singular of R is is. Students will be changed into student and classrooms will be changed into classroom. 
but that sign will not be changed that will still come it will come in um, singular sentence as uh, as it is okay see that will be is the student in the class room question mark that is a change sentence from plural to singular these glasses aren't for those women to wear okay before doing this sentence i would like you to open your page number 11 and see this exercise activity nouns that changes meaning in plural form singular plural singular plural singular plural singular plural um, arms, glass, glasses, content, contents, spectacle, spectacles. Okay. This word is singular A, R, M, arm and means part of body. When we write plural of this, we will write A, R, M, S, arms. Singular A, R, M, arm and plural will be A, R, M, S, arms. But sometimes A, R, M, S, arms is used in sense of weapons and then it will not be the plural of this like this arm okay second is glass a drinking container it's singular i have one glass of water in front of me and the plural of this will be glasses i have two glasses of water on the table but sometimes glasses is used for glasses for eyes like optical instrument which we put on eyes and then we mean single thing but we use this plural word glasses okay third is content it is a state a peaceful uh, state of mind but when we put s with that it doesn't mean that the plural of this word rather it has another meaning and that is the things that are included in something uh, you people have always a list of uh, brief description of every unit and lesson in the beginning of the book see table of contents unit number page number and unit name this is the this list is called contents okay so content means something else and contents mean something else. Spectacle, a visually striking performance, a very mind-blowing performance. We use for this spectacle word. But when we put spectacle, it doesn't mean that this is a plural of spectacle. S, S comes with a pair of glasses. It means a pair of glasses. When we put S with spectacle, it doesn't mean that the plural of this word. It has another meaning then, a pair of glasses. We never use this word in singular form. So now see your exercise. Sentence number four. These glasses aren't for those women to wear. Okay. One thing more that in English we have some words in form, plural form. But they are used in singular meaning. Like glasses, optical instrument, spectacles, optical instrument, trousers, scissors we mean when we use them in a sentence we mean as singular but we cannot omit this s at the end of these words okay now these glasses aren't for those women to wear now here object uh, sorry here noun is woman w-o-m-e-n woman this is plural and the singular of this word is w-o-m-a-n then T H O S E those and the singular of this word is that. We will make change in that, but we will not make change in these classes aren't. Aren't is the shortened form of are not. The reason is that glasses cannot be used in sense uh, with the spelling G L A W -S, S class. That will be wrong. So we will not make any change whether this is plural or singular. That is basically applied here for singular plural both so glasses will not be changed when this word will not be changed this these will also not be changed and this aren't will also not be changed we cannot say that this glasses isn't no these three words will not be changed even when we are changing this and this okay so the change sentence will be 
these glasses aren't for that woman to wear okay now see your fifth sentence the brush is under the chair the brush is under the chair noun is brush helping verb is is chair is again noun so we will make change in this noun in this noun and in this helping verb the brushes are under the chairs and full stop this is the solution of that uh, question like all the sentences from singular to plural with a bit new thing that will be a new thing for you and for this on page 11 you have seen the exercise okay now i hope that you people have understood well i give you uh, an assignment that uh, you should uh, take the help of net and search such words which are like this glasses like which are used in sense of singular but they ends on s or es okay and inshallah i hope that you will do and we will meet in the next lesson lesson thank you very much stay blessed allah hafiz